Hi Leo, this is your reading for the 29th of June till the 5th of July. And you came in third um, with um, Virgo and Sag with 35 likes. Thank you very much for your likes and your sharing. I do appreciate it and I'll keep the rest of the spiel until the end of the video. So if you want to know updates, then uh, keep on listening at the end of the video. And welcome to new people. Okay, my cyber angels and new viewers, uh, please um, stay at the end and then if not, Please subscribe if you're new and of course hit the bell on all then you'll be notified. If you're new I suggest you listen to the end of the video because there's some information for you. Um, thank you very much and I will be doing my nine card spread again as it is well received and uh, yes welcome to the channel if you're new and you've become a cyber angel. Okay, this is the Quirin card or the Earl All Over Energy card, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm using the corner cards um, as clarification cards of the cards around it or um, vice versa. So this card can um, clarify the three cards or the three cards can clarify the corner card and I've also got um, an extra card, an oracle card, you can take that as an extra energy or extra message and that is from the mystical, um, sorry, the mystical uh, shaman oracle deck. Okay, so let's get beginning, to begin. First of all, we have the two of wands, so you might be plan making plans plans to go on holiday, plans to get another job or improve something, plans for the future. Wow, that is great stuff. And yes, at the beginning of July, it is summer holidays. And I know we are uh, coming out of the lockdown now, um, but I would still advise you, make, make sure that you take care if you do go on holiday. Also make plans of Plan B if something does arise and make sure that um, you plan that your itinerary and all your papers are in order if you're going on holiday. On Monday we start with the Six of Swords and that means that you are planning to go on holiday or planning to move um, but you're definitely leaving rough waters, rough times behind you. Look, he's already pointing forwards. It also means that you are coming out of um, a rough time. Perhaps the situation that was at hand was for you a very rough experience. But you're moving to sweet, uh, calmer waters and a better phase in life. Life does have its ups and downs, but you're coming out of it now. Okay, I hope you realize that because you're taking action like the King of Wands. He's a man that plans and takes step by step or he plans step by step. And he's a good organizer. That's his logic and his theory. He um, also is very passionate about things. And you cannot, uh, if he has an idea, you can't drag him away from his ideas. He will go for what he wants. And the same with the Queen. This, the King of uh, Wands, is Aries. So you might be meeting up with an Aries or you might be going on holiday or moving in with an Aries. But don't um, exclude uh, Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, Leo. So you might be meeting um, a soulmate, an other Leo. Okay, great stuff. Nice, nice, nice. But you're going into action. You're putting your ideas, your plans into action. Wow. 
Good stuff. Then we have the seven of pentacles. Well, you all know what that means if you follow me. What you sow, you shall reap. It has taken time to come to fruition. Ooh, 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 look at all these meat eaters, the plants. I like it. Um, they've got a lot to talk to, boo. <laughs> lot to do, lot to talk about. So they are coming into action. At least it seems as they are coming into action. So you might be talking to somebody about an investment or about your investment as it is coming to fruition. Most probably in July because we've got number seven and luck is on your side. But July is also the seventh month. Wow, wow, wow. You're going up from two to three to six. You're jumping, jumping. It's haste. Yes, to the seven. But number three is the Empress. And the Empress, yes, she's beautiful. And she also represents Libra. It is number three. And you are creative. The Empress stands for fertility. Now, it is a very fertile time to do investments, to plant seeds again for the next harvesting. So once you've harvested, you have to plant something again. That's why you're planning, and that's what your plans are. You're planning to plant something again or invest in something or take the next step in your relationship, like getting married or you are married and you would like to get pregnant, then now is the time. Okay. Now, if you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. And the Empress also represents birth, new beginnings of projects or a child. Look at the big tummy she has. And she, in this card, she's also shaped as a tree that bears fruit at the end because she nurtures it. Once she has sown the seed, she will nurture it and make it grow and will bring it up to become um, a fully fledged seedling and then it will blossom and harvest it. And she will do that every time with every season. So you might be harvesting in July, but you could also be harvesting in um, September, September, because September, October, that is Libra. Now, you like number three, um, number three, that's the, in the normal calendar month, that is Aries, and he represents Aries. So perhaps you've planted seeds in, in April, and it's growing. Woohoo, nice one. And here we have the chariot. Okay, you're going, you've got victory. You've got public recognition. You are going forwards and upwards. You are like you're starting a, a new something, a new passion perhaps with a fire sign or a new hobby or a new job. Um, that is what the king might be offering you or it is you actually leo you are a fire sign so you are you've planted seeds and they've grown and you're harvesting so boom where there is an ending because harvesting is an ending there's also a new beginning and when you harvest you have victory you've got public recognition but you are also like the pegasus in black with the fiery wings, okay? You are like, it, it was, I got the word, the Venus. Venus rising from the ashes, okay? And again, the chariot is cancer. So it could be that you are harvesting in July. Boom, 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 boom. It's going very quick, very quick. I'm getting to here. Like the speed of lightning. It, you might not have expected it uh, to happen, but it has happened very quickly. Something has picked up again. Like when you drive a car, you can slow it down and you can pick up speed again because the chariot is just like the car. You're going forward into a new phase with the six of wands and that is confirming the chariot and the chariot is confirming that and that you have victory and recognition. 
You could be meeting a Cancer, because the chariot also represents a Cancer sign. So that is, um, let's have a look. The Libra, Cancer, the Fire signs, um, Aries, but also Leo and Sagittarius. They are here in the reading. Quite a few people. But they are seeing you. You've got recognition from one of these people. It could be a potential partner. It could be uh, an employer. Uh, it could be your father or your mother. They are seeing how well you're doing. Now we're going on to the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, that is a Virgo. So it could be a Virgo, but don't exclude um, Taurus and Capricorn. The Queen of Virgo is a lot like the Empress, and she stands for the same reasons. Fertility, birth, birth of a project, a birth of <clears throat> a child and growth. She nurtures what she sows as well. What she sows, she will reap. She's got green fingers and her husband has got the meter's touch. So they know how to invest and make things grow. So there might be something here that you, like I said, you are starting a new that's a new beginning. The Queen of Pentacles also goes for durability and for long term. And she does look after animals. You might get a new animal, a new pet uh, in the coming week or in July or uh, in um, the end of September after the summer holidays. Wow. Or you might get the pet. Um, in July because of the holidays to, to be on holiday at home with your pet perhaps you've been saving up for that and now finally it's here this is Cancer number 7 is August uh, Cancer as well July so and the beginning of the holidays are here perhaps you are buying a pet for one of your children but she is a beautiful mother, like the Empress. She nurtures and she takes care. And she does it slowly but steadily. Because that is what the Pentacles represents. And for long term and durability. Wow. You are moving into a next phase. You are moving into a phase of being a mother. Or being a, a nurturer or owner of a pet. I don't know why I get a pet, but that is um, most probably because I saw the fox and other animals around her. Okay, let's have a look. She's uh, sitting here with a fox and with a bluebird and butterflies, but also greenery. And the Empress, let's have a look. The Empress has got, also got a womb and animals around her so this is a Virgo so something might be happening or now you're getting a message that you're planning for something that is happening um, in September October because in September the end of September is Libra Wow okay very nice and this is what you wanted for a long time. You are going to get it. Look, you've been planning. The king is looking at the two of wands. And above the planning, you are moving into what you want. And you're going to nurture it. You're going to love it. You can canoodle and hug it. Okay. Lovely. Then you have the four of pentacles. You really had to hold on to your money before because... You wanted this, you wanted something, and you're going for it. Like I said, you're moving. These two cards is moving home, so you might have bought a second home or a new home. You are getting something that you want. You have really saved up for it. You've held on to your money. But if it isn't that, then uh, 
you might be closed off. You have closed off your mind to new ideas, to new things, to new goals. You've closed your heart, your solar plex, and she's holding one before her heart and solar plex. And her whole energy is being shut off. Okay, so that the angels of the divine cannot bring the divine energy or light through you to heal you and nurture you and make you feel loved. So open up spiritually. Open up. Let love and laughter come into your life and move away from sadness because there is birth. Birth. New beginnings of things. Wow. And you've got the Ten of Cups, so you might even be extending your family. But you've got the ultimate card for happiness, balance, emotionally. And the Ten of Cups means you might be expending the family, be it a child or a pet. Or a relative coming to live with you. Or you might start living together. That is making a unit as well. And the rest will proceed later, one step at a time. Okay, so nurture that relationship. Okay, making plans for the future. Perhaps one of the plans will come true now. Wow, well, you haven't got the wish card, but you can make something happen that you've wished for. Because if it's not only by manifesting or visualization or contemplation and I know thoughts are power but you have worked hard and diligently and hand on in there <clears throat> it seems also that you might have closed yourself off because you've worked towards your goal and you can open up now and harvest beautiful 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 so I hope you enjoyed that, but I'm not finished yet because I work with chakras as well. And I'm going deeper into the Querence card or the overall energy. And that's the card that I will be taking <coughs> to explain with the chakras. You, if you are a follower of mine, then you know that I work with the chakras and colors and the energies of the chakras and the angels so that is the angelic chakras now i'm going into the classic reiki chakras the theory about that i'll get back to that in a minute but here you have the earth keeper the earth keeper that is most probably it's more of a native card as you can see it looks like an indian and this card is by Colin Baron Reed. And you've got 18, so that becomes a 9, an ending. Where there is an ending, there is a beginning. And the Earth Keeper is a lot like the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, because that is Mother Earth, these two cards. It just goes to show that in every culture, every belief, there are similar things, but they've just got a different wording. And that is why you have to keep an open mind and not be discrimination, so that discrimination cannot come into it. Okay, and that is what tarot and oracle cards um, have shown me. There's different ways of thinking, different ways of doing, and not to be discriminated to anything or anyone. The essence of this card is just as you, you are involved in co-creating the world. You are also responsible for its well-being. Like don't leave plastic bags, use as much as you can naturally or paper or take your own basket uh, or little bag to the supermarkets so that you will not pollute the world with plastic bags. That is what is meant here. The Earth Keepers are dedicated to the stewardship 
of the earth and all life. They choose to hold the sacred dream of a planet where all beings live in peace and where the rivers and the air are clean. Remember that everything you do has an impact for seven generations. The task or the invitation, you have outgrown your small dream of success and achievement and are ready to dream big with possibilities beyond your wildish expectations. Take on the mantle of the earth keeper and reach out to a friend in need whom you may not have been in touch with for some time. Take care of your pets and feed the strays that come by. Clean up your yard as this is a reflection of your relationship to Mother Earth. Grow the sacred dream and your personal life will flourish. Remember, it's not about me any longer. No, it's about everybody. Mother Earth. So take care of the things. First take care of yourself. And now you've done that, you've reached that stage, you're moving on. You've got victory. You've got a recognition. You can take care of anyone else and give a helping hand, let alone Mother Earth. This is really a strong message of taking care of your environment, your link in your own space, but also in general. Now, you most probably, if you do follow me, then you most probably have seen this book that I've done a review on. And <coughs> it is, I'm just skimming the surface. Uh, I'm not going into meditations. I might make some videos on meditations uh, for each chakra. But now I'm just also still in the phase of picking up and learning. And it's so much information that it becomes a Bible and you stop learning uh, in one way. Um, you can't remember everything. And remember, I'm not an astrologer, but I do dabble with astrology. It does, um, I find it very interesting. Now, uh, we've got the fire, the fire sign here, and that is Leo. And we've got fire in the reading, the King of Wands. But I'm not going, I'm going to take the Two of Wands, because that's my parent card when I do uh, an extended private reading. Okay, so, and we do have something with solar plex. So open up your solar system, your solar plex, that's what I just said. But the fire sign, and that's you, Leo, uh, is, um, has to do with the, uh, the base of the sternum and also above the navel. And it is the solar plex chakra. That is where the joy comes from, happiness, love, laughter, feeling good. And it's the yellow chakra. And the element is fire. Focalization is Ram. And the note is E, East. Symbol, an inverted triangle with ten pentacles. And we'll go get that, I'll come to that in a minute. Um, in Sanskrit is Manipura, meaning city of gems. So you are at a good place. Main function supplies energy in the form of heat, power and enthusiasm, intellectual, okay, quality, passion and empowerment. Now, that is what the fire or the solar plex chakra is and this is the solar plex okay okay the the card two of pentacles is also ones so that is the solar plex chakra now we have also got the sign of aries here 
and it also means the sign of Aries um, and cardinal fire. Anatomy is also the forehead, right? Thinking. Because the king also strategically plans, but the forehead could also be headaches. So you might be quite susceptible for headaches. And the touch is an other belief, an other healing system, and that is rocking. Now the two of fire, the characteristics for the two of fire, the two of wands, um, is integrating and balance. Yes, and also two, and that also gives you the indication of balance. Planning, yes, power and preparation. The sign is also Aries, just like the King of Fire, Cardinal Fire, focused on new experience, experiences, active, outgoing, assertive, self-willed, starting things off. Anatomy, the forehead, and touch is rocking. Now, quality, duality, planets, mass. So Mars is the planet of uh, uh, fighting uh, force, uh, and Mars is also masculine. So you might be a little bit more uh, masculine. Uh, the masculine side, the business side might come out, or the desire to get active. Uh, you might be forceful, but watch out for arguments. Drive, desire, and courage. And those are also masculine attributes. Courage and drive. The man, the father of the family, always drives, has to keep on going to provide for his uh, family. The attributes of the two of ones is the two of fire, is the sprouting of passion or spirit. It indicates creative dualities, <clears throat> excuse me, brought together to reflect and animate each other. The two of fire is beauty and kindness. That's the feminine side. It is spiritually looking in the right direction. It ignites passion for a creative project, fuels it and keeps it going. Alistair Crowley, who created the Tolf, Deck referred to two of fire as dominin dominion. Advice Look back and see the patterns that have worked before. Begin to shed light onto new projects. Set forth new challenges. Give the project new meaning. Here you are. Going forward, having victory again. Planning. Mother Earth always plans so that you can nurture it, so that it will come to fruition. So if you know what you sow, you will know what the outcome or the result will be. The story. The, um, well, this author, Miriam Jacob, uh, Jacobs, doesn't only describe the card and what, what the elements are, um, but she also gives uh, a little story at the end of the page when she explains the chakra card and um, so it will hang on you know when you tell a story and people will ha remember that story much easier than facts the, um, so the story is the margaret paintings Dom dominion of light 1953 through 1954 evokes the my mystery of placing ordinary objects in an unusual context. René Magritte is considered one of the most well-known surrealists of painters, having an innovation, an innovative vision. Is what makes Dominion of Light still famous. Apparently, Margaret painted it. 
painted the same thing 27 times. Now, that is what is written on this page. Now, here you've got the element, which is fire. Then you, I'll show you. Well, uh, I'm not selling this book, but if you want to get into this book, then you, um, you've got all this information with each card, right? Now, here you've got the chakra sign. That's the chakra sign, the fire, yellow, once. So you get a color with it, and you can use the color in color therapy if you do that. And then you have this sign, and that is the touch sign. Like I said, that is a, a way of... Uh, a belief or something I haven't gone into it but um, I know some um, so that is the touch symbol then we have the masculine or feminine symbol and it also gives you let's have a look I'll show you um, there's also a chart I've lost it now Here you've got the chart here as well. Right, you've got Venus, that's a planet. So this is a planet. They're all different. And then you've got, I think that's Aries, and then you've got the chakra. So let's have a look. The air sign here on Aries. So Aries is the table of astro uh, astrology signs. So the two of ones is Aries. So that is how you can bisect the whole chart. You've got the planets here and the touch. But well, I don't know much about touching. And I think it might be astrology, but who knows. So that is where I get my information from. So this book would also be great fun if you want to know what the minor arcana uh, symbols are. I just kept it to the kings, queens, and the page, because the knights, uh, I haven't um, done those. Um, uh, and as the, those are the general uh, meanings for the tarot cards, uh, person cards. And I didn't go into the minor, because that's, that's 78 cards that takes too long to learn. So I've just kept it to the bigger color and the king, queen and page. So that was your reading for this week, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. It is a lot of information. So if you cannot sit here for 33 minutes, then just look at it and stop it and come back again. You can come back, you can load it down or upload it and get your information for next week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are a new viewer, then please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But keep, I will note, uh, some uh, viewers have been saying they're not getting notified by YouTube. So I uh, let you know in the uh, community tab on YouTube what time I go live or on Facebook or on Instagram. So enjoy your week, stay safe and give us a thumbs up if you want to, would like to be the first to get to the top of the list because the one with the most likes I will do first. Okay, so take care, God bless and be blessed. Love you all.